Hey everyone, this is Drew, that gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for uh, the Dolphin emulator uh, that you can get for PC, Mac, and Linux. Today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the Windows version, because that's what I'm running right now. Uh, if you guys don't know what Dolphin is, Dolphin is an emulator you can get for your computer that lets you run GameCube and Wii games, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it. And uh, we'll start with uh, the config tab up here. So, under general, you're going to want to enable your dual core, uh, enable idle skipping, make sure that your frame limit is on 60, and under your CPU emulator engine, you want to make it a JIT recompiler. Under interface, this is all up to preference, uh, it's whatever you want, play around with it, see what's best for you. Uh, next, under audio, uh, your DSP emulator engine should be an HLE emulation, the top one, which is fast. Uh, and then you want to check your Dolby Pro Logic 2 decoder. Your back end should be OpenAL with a latency of 2. Under GameCube, your system language should be whatever you speak, uh, or read, I guess. Uh, mine, I, I uh, read and speak English. And uh, under your device, this is just what you put in your memory card slots, such as memory cards, USB gecko, mics. Under Wii, your aspect ratio, 16 by 9, system language, whatever you speak, uh, and then insert SD card, should be checked. Uh, under path, this is just the paths uh, to your games. And then under advanced, don't check anything. Make sure that CPU clock override is off. All right. Next, under graphics, under general, your backend should be Direct3D. Uh, some computers have Direct3D9 and 3D11. Uh, mine only has regular Direct3D, so I'm going to check that. Uh, under your adapter, it should be Intel or whatever your graphics card is. Uh, should be the top one, is the one you want to pick. Not the Microsoft Basic Render Driver. Don't pick that. Uh, under full screen resolution, auto. Aspect ratio, force 4x3. Make sure you use full screen if you want to. Uh, I prefer full screen so there's nothing in the way. Uh, I like to show my FPS just so I know how many frames per second I'm running at. Uh, under enhancements, your internal resolution should be native. Anti-aliasing uh, anti should be none. And uh, whatever this is filtering should be one or times one. Uh, you should have scaled EFB copy on. Everything else should be unchecked. Uh, under hacks, uh, ignore format changes should be checked and store EFB copies to texture only should be checked. Uh, accuracy should be on fast. Uh, the XFB should be disabled. And then you should check fast depth calculation and check disable bounding box. Under advanced, make sure everything's unchecked. Alright, under controllers for GameCube. Uh, you can plug in uh, an adapter to use a GameCube controller, or you can use your keyboard. I use a actual GameCube controller. So as you can see, on the main stick, I'm moving it all over the place. C stick I can move. Everything works on uh, my controller. Uh, so just uh, pick whatever is best for you. Under Wiimote, you can use a real Wiimote. You can use your keyboard or a controller. Or you can use a hybrid, I'm not sure what that is, but you can use one of those. Under bounce board, uh, you can use a bounce board. I don't know why you would though, unless you really want to play Wii Fit on your computer. Uh, and then that's it. So uh, I'm just going to do a little demo for you guys of uh, some games. Uh, notice that it will be a little bit slower because I am recording. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'll uh, see you guys then. Bye.